So tomorrow morning, we are taking the K-Swap Sephiro, drifting again. I am super excited to drive this thing again. We drove it about two weeks ago, but it rained pretty much the whole time. I mean, it was fun, but I really wanna see what this thing can do in the dry. I'm hoping this weather holds out. This is the, the longest we've had blue skies here in Florida in weeks maybe a month it has been raining non-stop so i'm really hoping it holds out just for tomorrow i just want some dry laps i want to see what this thing's really capable of um and we fixed some issues since the last time we drove it so if all goes well it should be a good time not only that though but we we're going to be street driving it there so that was kind of the whole purpose of this build take it back to the simpler days of drifting where i just load some stuff in my car and drive it to the track no hustle and bustle and fuss of hooking up the trailer, loading up the trailer, unloading the car, unloading the car, loading the car, unloading the car. Uh, obviously that has its place, all right? Like I do not want to give up my truck and trailer, but there's just a different vibe when you just throw some stuff in your car, drive to the track and shred. I'm excited. I'm hoping nothing goes wrong, but uh, we've got to get this thing loaded up with all the stuff we're going to need. Wheels, tires, tools, jack. So uh, luckily this thing's got a big old trunk. Let's see how much stuff we can fit in here. This is going to be the first time I've ever tried to load it up for a drift event. Let's get to it. All right, that's pretty much everything we need. The only thing that's tough is, you know, I have a full, full set of tools in my enclosed trailer, like in the toolbox that's built in, everything I could need pretty much to fix a car. I don't wanna take all of those tools out, so we're just bringing the important bits, but I mean, that should get us by. We don't really have many, or really any spare parts for this car anyway, so hopefully we just don't have to work. Fingers crossed. Um, so while we get this loaded up, I'm gonna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Keeps. So Keeps is hair loss prevention that you can do right from your own home. All of the convenience, none of the hassle, it just makes it so much easier. And you'd be surprised how many people have some form of male pattern baldness. Two out of three males will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And once you hear that, you can't unhear it. You can't unsee it. You'll just start to notice it more. So the important thing is hair loss prevention. Acting as early as possible. Results can take up to four to six months. And if you treat the problem before it becomes a huge problem, you're gonna have a lot better results. It's gonna be a lot easier. I mean, it's like if your engine develops low oil pressure, if you pull the engine out, find the cause, fix the cause, put it back in, you'll be good. But if you wait till the engine blows up, you're gonna have a lot more parts to fix. Same concept, you wanna act as early as possible. We have plenty of room. Man, we could almost fit three in here. It's so wild. So if you're interested in taking action and treating the problem before it becomes a bigger problem, go to keeps.com forward slash Taylor Ray with two R's. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash Taylor Ray and get 50% off your first order. It's definitely worth taking action as soon as you can. So let's get the rest of this loaded up. We're going to have to uh, really cram this thing tight. The trunk is huge, but 18s, they're big. Bringing me my old trans mount, just in case we have any issues with the one we built. I mean, we can fit everything but the cooler and the other two wheels back there. We're just so close to fitting the cooler. Oh, we can fit it. I think we can fit it, look at that. Got it, we got it. Look at that, dude. Trunk of champions. We still got room to spare. Dude, I love this car. I am so hyped for this. We've got a pair of wheels in the back. We got the one wheel. We still got plenty of room. Toss my backpack, whatever, and still have a passenger. Didn't even take up the passenger seat. And then, ka-chow! I'm pretty excited. This is, uh, it's been a long time since I've gone to an event like this. You know, it seems silly, but it's, it's just, it, it's more of an adventure. So I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll hit the road. We're on the road. 
boys. Nice, nice morning. Nice and cool out. I haven't made it very far, so I can't say a car is cruising well, but we're cruising nonetheless. I'm excited. This feels good. I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be all right. So I gotta get fuel, ice for the cooler, drinks, all that stuff, and then head over to the track. I love the back roads going to the track. It's just such a nice drive. It's like this pretty much the whole way. They're a little twisty for Florida back roads. some turns which is abnormal for Florida all right we're fueled up we're coolered up hopefully we're there soon with uh, minimal casualties Got my coffee. We're about to go drive. Sorry if there's wind noise. I have a wind muff on this. I have a mic on my helmet, but the helmet cam for my mic is on the right side because when you're in a left-hand drive car, then it's in the middle of the car. But since this is a right-hand drive car, it puts it on the right side right by the window, which makes a lot of noise. So we'll put you guys up here where you were earlier. See uh, how it goes. So well, get a feel for the car in the drive before I start handing me.
good. Just letting her cool down. Cooling temp's been good. That's the hottest it's gotten. The air temps start dropping good sitting at idle with the hood open. So I think if I put like a little cooler fan and maybe ducked to the vent or something, maybe a pusher at the bottom, I don't know. If I do something like that, I think we can solve that issue. They, it cools down about five degrees, five, 10 degrees from whatever it was while drifting. So it's efficient when we're moving through the air. It's just not efficient when we're idling. Um, unless the hood's open, but everything seems good. 
This is the first real test of this thing, and I couldn't be happier. You know, I was stoked on the rain test, but I was really babying it, and then it was wet and whatever. I'm beating on it now, and it's dry, and it it's making the sauce, dude. It feels so good. I got these Nitto Envos, and these things are lasting like champions. I drove on them all day that day, which I had some dry runs. They're still good. I need to flip them. But I mean, they've done two sessions plus that whole other day of driving. Pretty solid. It's so weird driving without gloves. I normally always drive with gloves. But this steering wheel, I don't see. Back home, man, what a day. 
that what a great day. I am so happy with how this thing performed both on the drive there and back and uh, drifting. Everything I hoped it would be in both aspects. Like, yeah, there's still some rattles and vibrations, but the car drives super well. It cruises great, it's comfortable. Uh, so that was awesome. It was a, so fun to drive the car to the track again. Like, it was just, it was a good experience. It sounds silly, but I, I really enjoyed that. And then the car drifted great, man. I thought third gear was gonna be way too long to do in this car with, you know, the turbo lag and the power band, but no, it was great. Um, worked out perfect, making tons of smoke, the, the Nitto Invos. They lasted super well. Everyone else was blowing through tires and I was still making smoke, but the tires lasted. Overall, man, uh, I could not be happier. I couldn't be happier with how this went. Uh, what a great time. This thing performed great. It was super fun. It was a little laggy. You had to work it. The suspension feels great. Like everything felt awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering and blibber blabbering. I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, awesome time. So glad we got some dry drifting in, uh, but that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope to see you next time. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye. <laughs>